Hey everyone, this is Adam Rashid. Welcome to the second video in how to develop a responsive portfolio website series. In the last video, we set up our development workspace and in this video, we're gonna take our design and lay down our HTML. So uh, let's get started. So as you recall from the last video, we uh, created our development workspace by simply creating a folder and inside it, creating an index.html file inside as well as uh, creating an assets folder and inside that folder, we created a CSS folder and an SCSS folder in which we have main.css and then inside the CSS folder, we have main.css. And we're using CodeKit to compile our SCSS into CSS and give us a live server so we can have a live preview of the site. Um, so we are now gonna start creating our markup in HTML. So we're gonna, again, use this design. And what we wanna do is simply just type what we see. So um, we go in here and what we see is a hero section. Within that hero section we have, or sorry, a hero background in that we have a contact me button and a hero headline with some bio and then uh, and a link underneath that we have our portfolio section uh, it's a simple six piece portfolio underneath that we have our blogs uh, blog articles and underneath that we have our get in touch section as well as the footer underneath so this can be fairly easy let's just um, start here and I wanted to remind you that it's gonna have a uh, sticky header when we scroll down so we also want to put in our logo right here, which says Jane Anderson. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to code that in as well. So first we're going to have this header or navigation and then our hero and so forth. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to have, uh, we're going to get rid of this. I'm gonna tab in and create a um, header background. And as I mentioned in the last video as well, we are um, using Emmet, which used to be called Zen Coding, to speed up our um, our development. So that's how you create a div with the class of header background. So let's Command Z because we have other stuff to add into. In that we're gonna have container. In that we're going to have our um, header. And in that we're gonna have container. And within that container, we're going to have our uh, title, site title or let's call this an uh, H1. And we're going to have a uh, link called uh, contact me. And these uh, curly brackets mean um, this is what uh, text will be inside that link. And before we do that, we're gonna actually container uh, and also call it header. Container. And press tab. I should go here and press tab <coughs> and show you what we did. So we have our header, inside that header we have our uh, container, and inside that container we have our H1 um, title, and then our um, contact me button right here. You can also give it a class of button. Let's go to our browser and check it out. Yep, so we can find, let's go to sketch again. 
<clears throat> so we have that. And underneath that, we're gonna have our hero section. And within that hero section, we're going to have hero headline. It's gonna be an H1 as well. And we also have a uh, hero or paragraph called hero description. Uh, just FYI, the the reason I'm doing these double underscores is I'm using a method of organizing your CSS called BEM or BEM. Uh, you can go to uh, just Google BEM CSS and check it out. It's a really good way to organize your CSS. And underneath that, we're also going to have a dot hero link. And press tab. And let's go in here and quickly copy that, paste it. Just press enter real quick, make it organized. Add a BR here, line break. Perfect. Let's copy this filler text, or we can just do lorem as well. Uh, Emmet includes lorem, so let's do 25 words. Press tab. There you have it. Let's check it out. Looking good so far. Actually, we're uh, done with this hero area. Let's go to our portfolio section. Let's collapse this, make it a little bit easier to see. Section. Oops, we don't need to. Just section. And then dot, or we're going to have hash um, work underneath that. Inside that, we're going to do container, then flex. And inside that, we're going to have h2, I believe. Let me double check. Yep, h2 dot work. And we're going to have six of these. So we only need to do this one once. And uh, we're going to repeat it six times. It's going to be uh, port. Let's call this portfolio, actually. Folio piece. And inside that, we're going to have Portfolio piece title. Okay, um, let's just do an H3. Let's call this title. Perfect. And yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's just press select and um, go in and, and change the titles. Okay, we're almost done. I just realized there's also a um, an area where you um, hover over the title slide up and it'll show the different tasks you did for that project. For instance, branding, web design, custom Shopify theme. So we're gonna do that for each of these. P dot portfolio piece tags and those tags we're going to perfect let's check it out looking good okay let's uh go back and uh work on the blog we're actually going to uh, take care of the images with our CSS. So that'll be for next video. Let's uh, move over to block section. So section ID blog side, we're going to do container flex. 
and inside that we're going to do so called title flex okay blog and then we're going to do um I believe these are h3 yep h3 Log title I'm gonna do four of those. Perfect. how it's going to look uh, if we need to do anything. Yeah, what we're going to do is um, put these in another container called um, Yeah, that's it. And um, we're going to do footer, or actually not footer, we're going to do contact. So section contact and that we're going to do H3 H2 white centered and also we're going to do uh, social then parentheses as uh, social and other than that we're going to do social button social social button and hi that's going to be the font and we're going to do this three six times And we're also going to have a button. And voila. And finally, we need to just add our footer. Within the footer, we're going to have Let's band on footer text. Times three. Then do option G twenty sixteen all rights. Press a vertical line there, which is shift and slap backslash, I believe, and then do a uh Actually, I think there's a better way of doing this. Um, we can make this a list. So uh, we can do UL LI three and oops L I um perfect. And finally, uh, built with curve. Perfect. Cool. So, yep, it's that easy. Um, and 
the next couple of videos we're going to uh, really focus on the look and feel of it with, by working on our CSS. So uh, we're going to make it look like this first and then uh, add some of the CSS for our sticky navigation, sticky header, but this will be done mainly in JavaScript and jQuery in the last video. But we'll make sure that this works um, and it looks good when we trigger it with jQuery. And we're going to make it responsive, meaning we're going to have um, a tablet layout, um, which responds when a response to that size when you uh, size down the screen, as well as a mobile uh, mobile navigation with a sticky footer contact me button when you're looking at it with a phone. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. I am developing a course for Kirby CMS and I've set up a quick crash course for you guys, which you can go to at learnkirby.xyz. You can go there and download a free five part crash course in which you'll learn all about Kirby and when to use it versus WordPress or other CMSs. Set it up quickly and learn how to create a one page portfolio site all by yourself. So make sure to go to kirby.xyz and sign up for your crash course.